Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for April 11th through the 17th, 2021. I do want to take a second and remind everyone that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the box beneath this video. Please keep in mind that in general readings, the energy can uh, flip-flop or reverse of roles. So be aware of that. What we're going to do, Virgo, I'm going to pull your energy, the energy of the person you're connecting with, and also the energy of the connection and the outcome. At the end, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of the fortune cookie um, oracles for you and see if there's any further messages. So let's get started. I have the energy of Virgo, please. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands. We have the Hermit in reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Virgo, um, it looks as if there has been some com conflict for you. Um, however, this form of conflict, I can say, um, is going to produce some growth for you. I do see that you have pulled back. Um, there may have even been some blocking that has taken place. Um, but I think that you are coming out of this now. Um, you sought answers. You have received answers. And I think that now you're going to be moving forward. Um, some of you within this connection, some of you are moving away from the connection. But either way, you're going to be moving forward, but it's going to be a slow movement. Let's look at the um, energy of the person you're connecting with. All right, so the energy of the person you're connecting with, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. We have the Empress, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the person you're connecting with here, um, you may be dealing with either a Libra or a Taurus with this Empress. You don't have to be. Um, but this person, we see a breakup, all right? So that might be what I'm seeing with this conflict. Um, there is a breakup. There is an ending of a connection here. This connection would be within the home because this has to do with the home. Um, with the Empress, though, there is the ability for this, um, or, or at least this person sees the ability for this connection with you to grow and to be productive, to be um, bountiful. So that energy is here. Um, and there has there's something here that has to do with a cycle. There's something cyclical about this, okay? Um, in addition to that, the person that you're dealing with is willing to put the work into this. So, let's see the energy of the connection. Show me the energy of this connection, please. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups and we have the King of Cups. Okay. So there is a lot of love in this connection, Virgo. Um, the Knight of Cups, um, it begins with the Knight of Cups and it grows into the King of Cups. So this is a love that um, has matured over time. Um, yeah, there's definitely been a, a maturation of this, this relationship over time. And there is a lot of love in this connection. Let's see what is directly affecting the connection. Seven of Wands. So there may be the, the opinion of others. There's, there's something that is definitely opposing this connection. Um, it could be outside influences. Um, I can also see that there's defensiveness that's affecting the connection. This is shared energy, so it's on both sides. And in addition to that... Um, there's just a lot of problems here. There's a lot of problems. There's a feeling here of having to defend oneself against a lot of other people or a lot of problems in this connection. So let's see um, what is the outcome for the... Wow. Okay. So in the outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords. So in the outcome at the end of the week, I am not seeing that there is going to be a firm foundation put in place. 
And in fact, um, there's going to be a lot of concern and worry about that. So, there is a desire on your behalf, Virgo, to have something move forward. Um, if it does, it will move forward in a slow and steady manner. The person that you're dealing with, um, there is something cyclical about this. They see this as being very bountiful. And in fact, they actually see you as, as being the empress, to be honest with you. They see you as bountiful. They see you as, you know, having the ability to take whatever they give and to grow it and to make it better. Um, this person may also be burying themselves in work. But I'm not seeing it come together by the end of the week. And it has to do with the, the there's a lot of problems. Some of these are outside problems. Some of them are internal. But... Uh, there's a lot that's coming against this connection and there's a feeling of defensiveness here now at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of swords so this is the underlying energy um within this connection there the underlying energy is somebody has come in spoken some truth and rushed right back out this may have even been an argument and that is why all of this has taken place why all of this is going on so let's clarify why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? Okay. All right. So the conflict had to do with a commitment. So there's something to do with a commitment here. Um, and again, there is love here. So we see the King of Cups twice. Um, you may be dealing with a water sign don't have to be if you are that would be a scorpio pisces or um let's see scorpio pisces or cancer um but basically what i'm seeing here is that the person that you're dealing with king of cups twice um there was a conflict regarding a commitment that's what the that's what the conflict was about why is the hermit in reverse So you took, you basically pulled back. You may have even blocked this person with the hermit. Um, and at this point, you pulled back. You sought answers. You went within. And Virgo, this is your card, the hermit. Okay, so it's very typical of Virgos to do this, to pull back and to basically recede back from, from this conflict. So you pulled back seeking these answers. And you kind of went into a hibernation mode of sorts. Um, the answers that you got, you, you're a little bit at war with yourself. Um, part of you would like a reconciliation with this person, with the five of pentacles in reverse. There's a part of you that wants to reconcile with this person. But there's another part of you that is saying that you are better off on your own with the nine of pentacles. And so you know that you are bountiful and beautiful and that you've got it going on um, or handsome if you're a male. So you realize that you can do this on your own, that you are single and abundant. And by the way, your person sees you as that as well. All right. And even more so. So you chose to be single, but there is still a part of you that wants to reconcile with this person. So you're at a little bit of odds within yourself. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? All right, so you have Judgment in Reverse. And you have the Eight of Swords in the Reverse. Okay. So while you would have liked for things to move forward in a very slow and steady manner, um, I think that at the end of the day, you... You don't want to be bothered with this anymore. You're, you're a little bit in conflict internally, but you, you're you freeing yourself. Virgo, I see you freeing yourself, and you're not giving this a second chance. There is a desire within you, but there was some conflict regarding a commitment. Um, you pulled back. And I don't see I don't see you giving this a second chance. I think you're going to free yourself from this. But there is still some conflict within you. 
Let me um, look at the person you're connecting with. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse here? All right, so we have the Star in reverse. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so, so this would be this commitment, all right? So Virgo, if this is the person that you are in, in, if you are married to this person or in a solid commitment, if you were, um, that's the commitment that was argued about. Um, because what I'm seeing here is that this person has had an ending within the home. The Queen of Pentacles is the married or committed person. So whoever this person was committed to, it ended. It ended. They gave up hope on this connection, and that, that connection has ended. Um, so if that was you, that connection ended. If that was someone else, and it feels like it was someone else, it does not feel like it was you. It feels like the two of you argued over this. For some reason, it just feels like it's separate. Um, because this is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as the empress. So, let's see. Um, can I get clarification on the empress? Why is the empress here? Yeah, this is somebody, somebody else. Okay. So, this clarified with the devil and the three of coins. So, this person, Virgo... I think this person must have been ending something with someone else. And there was an argument between the two of you about that commitment. Because this person is viewing you as the empress. And they do not understand why they are so attached to you. They're deeply attached to you. They can't understand it. And... They actually would like to have a stable foundation to build something with. They feel that this could be an abundant connection, but they are mystified as to why they're, they're drawn to you. It's a, these are, this is separate energy. All right, so why is the Eight of Pentacles here? All right. So, Eight of Pentacles is clarified with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so, Page of Pentacles, uh, I'm sorry, um, Page of Swords in the reverse has to do with something not being revealed, something not being um, spoken, or it can't even be a direct lie. Usually, it's a lie of omission. It has to do with something about something not working, something about work. Um, but what happened here is there was something either about work or something, um, something, it looks like something to do with work that, that they were, there was something here that they were, um, involved with that was about their own fulfillment and there was either a lie or they didn't tell you i don't know it's very, it's very odd um but it has to do with work so they may be burying themselves in work and they don't want you to know that and that's how they're they're fulfilling themselves there could have been somebody they know at work i don't because they they definitely hold you in high regard this is a connection that they've given up hope on, but there's something here about work that they are deliberately not revealing the truth about or lying about. And whatever this is, it's for their own pleasure. It's They're seeking their own pleasure in this. So... For some of you, they're just willing to put the work into the connection, um, but be careful with that because they're doing it for their own selfish pleasure, um, and they don't want you to know that, but I don't know why that, I mean, we all do things for our own pleasure, and 
So I don't know why they wouldn't want you to know that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's look at the connection. Because this connection, like I said, there's something cyclical about this connection, which tells me that it's gone on for quite some time. And it has grown from the knight energy into this king energy. So it's developed over time. Um, let's get three cards. And there is love here. And it's shared energy. Both parties have love in this connection. Okay, so we have the three of cups. We have the high priestess in reverse. And we have the king of swords in reverse. So air sign energy here. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Gemini in um, Gemini is strong. Again, water sign energy too. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that there was something that was revealed. Some kind of secret came out in this connection. Um, it may have had to do with a third party. It had to do with a coming together, somebody coming together. It could have been a third party. It could have been a get together. It could have been something to do about a celebration um, or just going out. But I can tell you that the per person you're dealing with, Virgo, is angry. They're very angry about this. And they're not behaving very nicely either. Um, the King of Swords in reverse is kind of known as the asshole card. So this person is kind of, after whatever this is that has come out, they're kind of dealing with things in like an asshole, I'm, I'm sorry to say. Um, and you are just trying to be happy. You're just trying to move forward, trying to be happy. I feel like you have kind of given up on this situation. You've freed yourself and you just want to be happy. Now, let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Okay, so we have the tower in reverse and we have the queen of wands. Well, that's pretty self-evident. So what's directly affecting this connection? Well, it was a tower moment for you, Virgo. Um, what was a found what you thought was a foundation crumbled to the ground and now you're picking up the pieces. And like I said, you've given up on the connection. You want to move forward. You want to free yourself. I don't see you giving this a second chance. There's a part of you that wants to but I don't see you doing it. And I think you're gonna free yourself here. You're picking up the pieces because there's just simply too many problems. The person you're connected with though, they would they would like to, um, there ha there's something here with a third party, which doesn't make sense to me because this is um, a connection here that's ended. Maybe the connection hasn't quite ended yet. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that they would like to make you their mistress um, for some of you. Now, for others, they just want to take action and, you know, they want to deal with the problems. They're very angry, though. They don't like how this has come out, how this is, has happened. Something came out in this connection that caused this, this rift. And that's what caused you to pull back. So let's see, um, let me have three for the ending. All right, so we have the Magician. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Moon in Reverse. So I don't see, um, I don't see there being a established um, connection by the end of the week. What I do see, and I think that's going to cause, especially this person, a lot of concern. Um, I think you're going to have some concern as well, but mostly the person you're dealing with. Um, what I do see is that you're going to be manifesting um, different options. You're manifesting um, other options. You might have some confusion though, Virgo, um, and, but I, you're in a manifestation mode and I think you're gonna be manifesting options here, um, other, other options. Now, all of them aren't gonna be viable, but some will. Um, the person you're connected with here, 
I think that they are going to be they're going to be very concerned about this the information that came out. They're going to be obsessing over it, in fact. That it's going to be going over and over in their mind. And they're going to be obsessing over it and they're going to be they're going to be looking at ways to to resolve that. They're they're not going to be able to let this go because they're deeply connected and they're not going to be able to let it go. So Bottom of the deck, we do have the Page of Cups in reverse, which tells me that after this big argument, both of you pulled back your emotions. Um, yeah, and I can also tell you that um, in pulling back your emotions, it was done in, in a way that was a little bit immature. It wasn't done in a very mature manner. Um, because, you know, what I'm seeing here is anything from the Page of Cups all the way up to the King of Cups. So... There has been a lot that has gone on in this connection. Um, it has the ability to have the King of Cups energy, which is very wise, um, mature, loving. But the energy that came out that caused all of this chaos and a tower moment for you, Virgo, was very immature energy. Um, and I think you're, the person here is going to be obsessing over this within the next week. You, however, are going to be manifesting options. So let's go ahead and look at the um, fortune cookie oracles and see what, what comes out for you. Okay, it says luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. And it's an excellent time for networking. Well, that's good. So this is perfect because that's exactly what you're doing. You're manifesting um, new options and I think luck is going to be on your side. All right. So I hope this has been helpful, Virgo. Um, if you would like and share the video, be sure that you um, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment. And until I see you next week, namaste.